There's a place on Cape Cod that blends nature with the American tradition of baseball. It's a place where woodlands protect our drinking water and the bays we swim in. Where kids can run through dense forests to find themselves at one of America's most beautiful ball fields. Lowell Park in Katuit. Number three, Dennis E. Martin, a pitcher, Galvin, a pot. My ideal day in Katuit is definitely to get off of a Katuit skiff after a race um, around 4.35 in the afternoon and walk directly up the hill on Old Shore Road to Lowell Park and bare feet and watch a free ball game. That uh, is as close to heaven as one can get. Lowell Park is probably the nicest baseball field on Cape Cod. The thing that makes it special to myself as well as the many volunteers in the organization is the surrounding. It's a gem of a field located in a spattering of trees. ESPN has dubbed Lowell Park the new field of dreams. So it's not just Cape Codders who feel the power and beauty of Lowell Park and its surroundings. It has also drawn the attention of the national press. Lowell Park really became uh, uh, apparent to me it was special when Sports Illustrated published an aerial photograph of the park um, in the in 1970s. And it was a remarkable photograph. It, it showed that perfect baseball diamond carved out of the woods. But in the background was, was the harbor. And my, uh, you could see my dad's yellow sailboat in the picture and Dead Neck and, and Samson Island and, and Nantucket Sound were in the background. And it really sank into me as, as like a 10-year-old kid that this was a pretty remarkable place to watch a baseball game. Family traditions at a Kettler game run deep from one generation to another. This is pure baseball, up close and personal. It's where a dining experience is a hot dog, chips, and a soda. A moment in time where kids, parents, and grandparents come together for an evening of fun and relaxation. I love to go to the games with my kids. They'll either all arrive at once or one at a time, usually looking for money because they're hungry and they want something out of the snack bar. But um, yeah, it's pretty much a family affair. Lowell Park, I can't imagine life without it. Um, I just, I've been summering here since I was born and I've, when I was younger I used to chase foul balls in Lowell Park and now I go every game to watch the best players and it's just a part of my experience living in Katuit. I can't imagine life in Katuit without it. And I found the ball and I got this. Well, yes, it was totally worth it. He yes. found a game ball we really wanted. Yeah. I've lived in a lot of places and seen a lot of baseball and there's no other park that's completely surrounded by woods and you're sitting on the, the uh, home field side and looking out into the outfield you don't see anything else except green and uh, that is a, a truly unique experience. I mean the Cape Cod League is um, unique already um, but Lowell Park is certainly the gem and that is due in large part to the woods that surround it. Well, you know, when you go to a game these days, and in the, in the past it was also true, you, uh, from here we would drive up generally, especially when you have little children with you. Uh, uh, but they would never let us just simply go in the main parking lot entrance there. You know, you had to make a trek through those woods. Uh, maybe it was to collect some of those baseballs that uh, are still now in a collection in the in the shed here. Um, but uh, that was a whole part of it, you know, uh, that little walk through the woods. I certainly took for granted the, uh, the forest that surrounds Lowell Park. And I think for years I assumed that it was part of the, the, the water district um, and was part of the well field or it was protected by conservation, um, and it's not. The 19 acres that are there could be developed um, very quickly without any variance into nine two-acre lots. Two acres is our standard, is now our zoned um, 
uh, minimum lot by a developer. That's nine um, septic systems, nine driveways, um, nine lawns that have to be, that are usually, let's say, um, fertilized with nitrogen. All this impacts on our uh, water system. Uh, it impacts our water uh, by draining down into our bay. Um, it impacts our well by draining down into the, um, the freshwater aquifer. Um, so we're concerned that, as are the Lowells, who uh, have offered this land to us at, at the price, the appraisal price, that they'd be preserved. Purchasing these 19 acres would also expand Barnstable Land Trust's open space to a 200-acre greenbelt. Imagine walking through this unspoiled Cape Cod forest. Then continuing over to Bell Farm, with its meadows of wildflowers and gentle sloping hills. Wandering a path of native trees and plants. Stopping to enjoy a moment of solitude. Continuing across a bridge and up to the tall pines of Eagle Pond. All of this is within reach of Katuit Village and its picturesque ballpark. A couple of years ago, I was approached by uh, the Brownsville Land Trust, Jackie Barton, Executive Director. And Jackie reached out to me as the president of the Katua Cataliers organization and uh, wanted to discuss an idea with me that the Brownsville Land Trust was uh, looking to purchase the 19 acres that surround Lowell Park. And from that point on, so here we are uh, over two years later, and it was just a perfect fit from day one. Here come the Kettles. You heard that cry every home game as the Ketuit Athletic Association raises funds to benefit the Ketuit Kettleers. However, this year there's a new twist. $10,000 from the Kettle Drive will be donated to the Barnstable Land Trust as they attempt to keep beautiful Lowell Park green by purchasing the 19 acres surrounding this magnificent field. The Ketuit Athletic Association and the Kettleers are proud to be a part of this ongoing effort and hope you'll help us help the Barnstable Land Trust. Here come the kettles. Here go the kettles. Everybody's welcome to help us out. There's a certain factor that I think the public needs to know that the um, the town of Barnstable is going to help the Barnstable Land Trust. Um, purchase this land by, um, by actually purchasing a, a, a certain amount of, ma of land, about three acres, around the existing um, town-owned land of Lowell Park. Because, in fact, the flagpole, a considerable portion of the outfield, particularly ab uh, behind uh, the first baseline, the, the visiting uh, team's bullpen, all stand actually on private land, not on town-owned land. We've come to think of Lowell Park and its surrounding woodlands as a single place. Each of us has our own reasons for wanting to protect this special place. As I run, um in Katuit, my home stretch um, bends into the Lowell Park parking area and bends around through the outfield and then through the, the Lowell Park woods. And it's the end of my run. So it's one thing that keeps me motivated and keeps me going and headed home. And it certainly is the, the cherry on top of a, a beautiful day. I had great fun as a bat boy for the Kettleers 40 years ago. It was the best summer of my childhood. And I think it really instilled in me this passion, not just for baseball, but for baseball out in the woods in Ketuit. Um, it's just so special, and we need to preserve the land around the park. I think if we were to lose that swath of woodlands with significant development of residences along there, it would be uh, a real detraction from the overall arrival experience in Ketuit. Um, you would lose that sense of peace as you come to the greenery past the cemetery uh, and feel more and more enclosed by encroaching development. We take for granted a lot of the open space in Ketuit, um, but 
you know, our, our ancestors took a lot of care in preserving some vital pieces of, of property and, and even in more current times, uh, efforts to save uh, Bell Farm from a, a development um, would have uh, been disastrous for the area around uh, Mosswood Cemetery. Um, the uh, field, that, uh, the ropes field on, on Putnam Avenue um, has now been uh, acquired by the Barnesville Land Trust. Um, you know, every acre of open space is, is precious, and to assume that th th it's going to stay undeveloped forever um, is, is crazy, because it won't. We've lost some uh, amazing buildings and some amazing pieces of property in this town because of indifference. Special Places Don't Stay Special by Chance. To keep Lowell Park green, Barnstable Land Trust needs your help to raise $1.8 million by December. Support us as generously as you can. Call Barnstable Land Trust at 508-771-2585 or go online to www.blt.org. And thank you. Thank you.